subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can use your laptop as an external monitor with your sony a6400 camera just like i'm using it right now so let's begin the video so here you can see i have my sony a6400 camera and a wire is going from the a6400 to my laptop and here you can see a live preview on my uh, monitor from the sony a6400 camera so you can see it's quite beneficial as the screen on the sony a6400 is like really really small so having a display on the laptop really helps a lot so that's the reason why you should use a uh, laptop as an external monitor so in the past i have showed you how you can connect your sony a6400 with an external monitor which is also very good i think it is much better and easier than a laptop because you can connect it with any kind of screen because laptop don't come in 42 inch or 55 inch screen so that process is very good but if you still have a laptop and you can use through this process so for this you're going to need a windows or mac pc you're going to uh, need an active internet connection just to install or download the software after that internet is not required and you're going to need a cable which will go from your sony a6400 and connect it to the usb port of your laptop so these are all the things that are required so let's move towards our pc and let me show you how you can do it so here i am on my windows pc the process will be same if you are using a mac so first of all we need a software that will actually allow us to connect our sony a6400 or any other sony alpha camera to our computer and to live view it so first of all you need to download the software for it so for the software we're going to download imaging edge so i will put this website's link in the video description just below the like button so you can download for windows or mac since i'm using windows operating system so i'm going to download the windows version of this software uh, we're just going to simply click on the button and the download should start automatically okay and the download has been started so it's an 83 mb software so it won't take long to download so we're just going to wait until the download is completed so the download has been completed here is the setup all you need to do is to right click on it and run it as an administrator it will start extracting the files we're going to select our language next the installation location if you want to change you can do so but i'm going to uh, stick with the default location next and install so now it's going to install imaging edge we're going to press on finish so now here is our shortcut so where uh, it will automatically open it so in order to view or use your laptop as a monitor for your sony a6400 you need to have this remote application so for this all you need to do is to press this download button and it will download it so it's going to ask for the download location we're going to just simply press on save and it will start downloading these three applications so the download has been complete we're going to press on next to install these uh, applications as well and it's going to install them finish so we have successfully installed all of these three applications so we're going to uh, agree and proceed so for our scenario okay we need to agree to the privacy terms and policies okay agree and start the application so we're just simply going to close it as it is showing the viewer the application that we're going to use is the remote application but first of all let let's move towards our sony a6400 there are some settings that we need to do first before we can use this application so here is my sony a6400 first of all what we're going to do is that we need to go to the menu and do some settings so that we can view it with our laptop or any other pc so we're going to press on the menu button here you need to first of all go to this uh, network button uh, network icon on the third one we're going to go on the upper key then we're going to press the right key to get here we need to go down where it says control with smartphone you need to go here you're going to press the button to select it if control with smartphone option is on you need to make sure that this is disabled this is very important if this option is disabled then 
uh, your uh, phone screen won't be uh, sorry your a6400 uh, camera live view will not be shown on your computer so you need to make sure that this option is disabled we're going to go back using the menu button now you need to go to this uh, fifth option where you got this briefcase so here we are and from here you need to go to the fourth menu pressing on the right key here you need to go down where it says usb connection you're going to select it it's on auto so you need to set it to pc remote so this option will only be enabled if you disable control with smartphone option if you don't do it then this won't be enabled anyways you need to make sure that pc remote option is selected so that's all that you need to do and for the cable all you need to do is pop open this here you're going to connect the cable on the very first which is used to transfer data on your uh, pc or laptop from your sony a6400 or in other case which is used to charge your sony a6400 as well so we're just simply going to plug the cable that comes with the sony a6400 uh, but the problem that you would see that this cable is pretty short so what i recommend that is that you buy a, a usb extension cable it's very cheap like for one dollar or even less so you can buy that usb extension cable i am personally using that cable as well so you can buy it and that will help you uh, enable uh, that will help you to increase the length so if your laptop is far away from your main camera so it is still possible to connect it so i'm just simply going to connect it with my laptop in which we just installed imaging edge software and now we're going to again move towards our laptop for the rest of the part so now i have connected my sony a6400 with this laptop we're going to press on the start for this remote application right here so first of all it's going to try to detect our sony a6400 camera so here you can see it is showing if it is showing some error message then uh, you need to do the settings that i just showed you in the video and that would work so anyways all you need to do is to double press on the name of your camera it's going to wait until it is connected and then the live preview should be shown so waiting so here you can see it's showing the live preview let me just maximize the screen and here you can see what is directly being seen by the camera i can zoom in and out as well just to show you guys so here you can see so in this way in, instead of seeing this all thing from a small camera it's much easier to view things from a large camera and you can see that we can also control iso and all the major settings of the camera directly from here as well so it's basically a remote as well as a live previewer in big screen uh, guys i have already made a video on how you can live preview from your sony a6400 to your wife uh, mobile phones using wi-fi if you're interested in that you can watch that out, out as well it's cool because it doesn't consume any wire but anyway this is the other option so guys in this way you can use your laptop as an external monitor for your sony a6400 camera the process is somewhat similar for other sony alpha series as well but that's all for this video so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful so please kindly subscribe to my channel as well this will help me a lot again i have made uh, many videos regarding the a6400 in the past as well you can found those videos on my channel as well and that's all for this video guys so thank you for watching and stay safe